So first thing that should automatically come into your brain when you hear find all the zeros is to go back, make sure it's in ascending order, and then you could say, all right, the fundamental theorem of algebra says there's going to be how many zeros? Four, right? OK, very good. So I know there's going to be four zeros. That could be four real, right? That could be two real and two complex, right? Or that could be all four complex, correct? It's really my only possibilities. I could do Descartes' rule of signs, um, but I'm not really concerned. I already showed you guys how to do that. Um, well, actually, let's just go and look at that. Let's look at Descartes just for the positives. How many sign changes do we have? Just one, right? So I know there's going to be one. Look at there's only one sign change, right? So that's for the positive real zeros. So for the positive real zeros, there's only one real positive 0. Now remember, to do negative, you would have to do f of negative x, right? And actually, we can do that real quick. Let's see. That's going to be x to the fourth minus x cubed plus 5x plus x minus 6. So negative, you have 3 or 1 negative real zeros, which makes sense, right? 3 negative, 1 positive equals 4. 1 positive, 1 negative, and 2 complex gives you 4, correct? So that makes sense. That's what Descartes' rule of signs helps you guys do. But um, let's go ahead and now here we want to be able to determine the rational zeros. So we have to go back to our rational zero test. P over Q. This was in your homework last night. Remember, P over Q. Q is your coefficient of your um, exponent. So it's plus or minus the factors of 6 over the factors of Q. So I have plus or minus 6, 3, 2, 1. And remember, it's plus or minus. Now, I did cheat, all right? And I used my calculator, and I graphed it. And I found out that the two zeros were negative 1 and positive 1. However, I showed you guys, if you don't know what the zeros are, you don't have graphing technology, you start at plus 1, and then do negative 1, right? And then if those don't work, then you go to 2 and negative 2. And you can use the remainder theorem. Um, or you can use uh, synthetic division and just keep on trying the rational zeros till you find one that works. So I did cheat though. But even anyways, I would do one, I would do one first. So let's go ahead and do that. Now I take the coefficients, 1, 1, 5, negative 1, negative 6. OK? Bring down the 1. 1 times 1 is 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. 2 times 1 is 3. 5 plus th or five, five, 2 times 1 is 2. 5 plus 2 is 7. 7 times 1 is 7. Negative 1 plus 7 is 6. 6 times 1 is 6 gives you 0. So does it work? Yes, it is. That means 1 is a 0. So if 1 is a 0, what is the factor then? What is the factor if 1 is a 0? X minus, X minus 1. Good. Keep that in your brain. So remainder, x to the 0, constant, linear, quadratic, and cubic. Now we need to figure out the other, other 0. As I already told you, I know that the next 0 is negative 1. I know that's another 0 that works. Um, if you didn't have graphing technology, you'd have to figure that on your own. So now I tug in these coefficients. So I do 1, 2, 7, 6, and 0. Oh, that's my remainder, not my constant. You don't need to include your remainder, just your constant. So I bring down the 1. 1 times negative 1 is negative 1. 2 plus negative 1 is 1. 1 times negative 1 is negative 1. 7 plus negative 1 is 6. 6 times negative 1 is negative 6. 0. OK? So again, here's my remainder. Here's my, con um, my constant, which is x to the 0. Here's my linear. And here's my quadratic. So I have two zeros. Ladies and gentlemen, are we following what we said? We said, so we said there's either one real, one real positive, and we said there has to be at least one real negative. Do you see we have a negative, right? And again, if x minus 1 is the 0, what has to be the, um, what's the, I'm sorry, what's the factor? x plus 1. Good. 
Um, I got more room. OK. So, so far, f of x equals this 0, x minus, or this factor, times that factor, times this written out. These are the coefficients, right? 6 times x to the 0 is just going to be 6, FYI. So I have x squared plus x plus 6. Now, to further factor that, ladies and gentlemen, to further factor that problem, um, further factor that, can you figure out what two numbers multiply to give you positive 6, add to give you 1? Yeah, but that gives you negative 5, though. What I'm saying is, all right, we're trying to find all of the zeros. The next thing you do is use the zero product property, right? So you would set these all equal to 0. x minus 1 equals 0. x plus 1 equals 0. And 0 equals x squared plus x plus 6. You can't factor that. If it's non-factorable, then you have to do what? Quadratic formula. Guess what? The quadratic formula is a little snippet into the problems you guys have to do now. Okay. So therefore, we know x equals 1, x equals negative 1. Here, it's going to be x equals opposite of b. So it's negative 1 plus or minus the square root of 1 squared minus 4 times 1 times 6 all divided by 2 times 1. x equals negative 1 plus or minus 1 squared is going to be 1 uh, minus 24. So that's going to be a square root of negative 23 over 2. x equals negative 1 half plus or minus 1 half i times the square root of 23. Does everybody see how I divided that 2 into both of those terms? Yes? Now, if I wanted to write this, um, so those would be my two factors. If I wanted to write that, um, actually, you don't need to. So therefore, you could write that as a solution set. Um, or also, if you're going to write these in factored form, just so you guys know, it would look like this, negative 1 half plus, um, oh, wait, that'd be, what, I mess up? Negative 19. Huh? B squared, which is 1 minus 24, which I got was negative 23. Um, if you were to set these as factors, you would just do the, um, it would be x plus 1 half. And then you're still doing plus 1 half i squared of 2. And then you'd have to do x minus 1 half minus square root of minus 2. Like you have to do the plus or the minus for both of those. But let's not worry about that. Let's move on. Anybody have any questions on that? I know we're kind of doing some.